So I just repeated all of this information that was basically on our last video. So again, our target index is 500. Our EI was 532, almost to 500, it's close enough. DI is 0.27, basically a zero. I mean, we're basically winners right now. KV was 68, mass was eight, and our dose, DAP area, dose area product was 255 milligray centimeter squared. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to bring my KVP down 15%, which is going to have the same effect as having my mass um, that I did in the last video, but I'm gonna compare the difference between this video and last video. So if you haven't had a chance to look at the last video, please do. Both of these things are going to end up shooting us a DI of negative three, which means I'm half underexposed, which means if I'm looking for 500, I'm actually gonna shoot around 250. But the difference is, is when I bring KVP down, it's not going to half my dose like it did when I halved it with the mass. So now what I've done is I have brought my KVP down 15%, which was about 10-ish. So I brought it down to 59. My mass is now eight still. If I 15% roll, you're just changing one thing, right? Notice what happened to my dose, my DAP. I went down to 187 milligrade centimeter squared. My EI went to 234. Remember I said I was gonna go to about 250, which brought our DI to a negative 3.28, just a little bit below that um, DI of negative three that I was shooting for because our EI is a little bit lower than I wanted. I wanted 250, I shot 234. It's pretty close, right? It's gonna count, but let's go to the board and talk about this more. Okay, so what I did was I went ahead, I know this looks a little overwhelming. Don't let it be overwhelming, it's fine. We're gonna talk through it. These were the numbers from the last week's experiment with the uh, just changing the mass, um, but you'll notice that the KVP is still the same. So this was just having mass to get a negative three DI, and this one is gonna be just changing KVP 15% to get a negative three. Both of these options, the 15% rule, either half mass or bring KVP down 15%, should shoot you a negative three DI, which means that your EI is going to be basically cut in half. So again, if my target was 500, my EI should be close to 250, and it's 234, it's a little bit lower, but that's okay, it's close enough to 250. And before, last week's experiment was a 252, which again, is very close to 250, okay? So both of these actions did what I thought they were gonna do. They brought the EI down by half. Our perfect numbers earlier shot us a 532, which is almost a 500, close enough, right? was deviated only by 0.27, it was pretty close. And by having my mass last week, I got almost a 250. And by bringing my KVP down 15%, I also got close to a 250, okay? That means the mathematical equation that goes into DIs, we don't need to know that, but it basically means that my 234 is at a deviation index of negative 3.28 compared to my target index of 500. So a negative three is basically um, the lower end of the exposure latitude that we should be shooting at. I know you guys have all seen techs who are not doing more and less, but we're not gonna talk about that. Our exposure latitude for our room at least is a negative three to a positive three, meaning that I can shoot this negative three and negative 3.28, I'd probably send it, it's close enough. Um, or negative 2.97, these are both passable images, the one we just took and the one that we took last week. This was the perfect image. I wanted to shoot this, but I ended up shooting a little bit low on my KDP or a little bit low on my mass. Ultimately, they're still passable images, okay? So the big thing though is the difference in the DAP, the dose area product, okay? When I bring mass down, like I did last week. I literally halved my mass to shoot a negative three. Look what happened to the dose. It literally got cut in half, right? So 255 divided by two is like 220, 227-ish, right? 118. I literally cut my dose in half because instead of throwing eight balls at the person, I'm throwing four balls at the person. So I'm literally having how much mass I'm throwing at the patient, right? So. I shot a negative three, I'm half underexposed because I was supposed to throw eight balls at them, but I ended up throwing four balls at them, which means my dose is gonna get cut in half, okay? When I change KVP though, right, look what happened to the dose. The dose did not get cut in half because in this case, I'm still throwing eight balls at them, but now I'm throwing them in much weaker, right? So 
This one, I was throwing them stronger, so more dose is gonna hit the patient, right? This one, I'm still using the same amount of balls, but they're gonna be a little bit weaker throws. It didn't have quite enough oomph behind them to get to the patient. So my dose is gonna go down because it's a weaker throw, but it's not getting cut in half, okay? So when do we ever use these scenarios? We're never gonna have a um, zero and try to shoot a negative three, right? But we are gonna have times when we shoot a negative three. And if I shoot a negative three, do I want to double my mass or do I want to bring KVP up 15%? Both of those options will get me to a zero. One is better than the other. If I shoot a negative three, what I want to do is bring my KVP up 15% because do you see how it didn't double my dose? If I have a negative three and I double my mass, I will literally double my dose. Both of these options are gonna get me to a zero. But if I have a negative three, the best option is to bring KVP up 15% because I'm not gonna double my dose to the patient. 